Welcome to another episode of the Online Prosperity Experience Podcast. You're about to hear your host, Prosper Taravinga's powerful digital marketing strategies and actionable tactics that you can use right now. Prosper has helped more than 50,000 people from over 10 countries to create meaningful businesses that are profitable and enjoyable. Listen to this podcast so that you too can build your own business with less stress and overwhelm. Let's get started. Here's why people are going to get mad when you start achieving success. Now, obviously, we're always talking about creating a business that's profitable and enjoyable. And I think it will be unfair if we actually don't tell you how to then deal with the success when it comes by. You see, a lot of people are actually afraid of being successful or having a business that's profitable just simply because they do not want um, to leave behind the people behind them or the hate or the angst that comes along with having a business that's profitable and enjoyable. Now, this is something that always happens, and especially here in Australia, with what they call the tall poppy syndrome, which is rive. There's no denying that success comes, um, you know, with its own fair share of hate that we don't want to live with. So in this podcast, we're going to try and go through what you should do when the success actually arrives, you know. And I kid you not, I know you've been listening to our stuff and you are definitely in need of creating a business that's profitable and enjoyable. And I don't want you to sacrifice your income and doing what you love because you are afraid that people are going to see you differently, okay? And obviously, you've just experienced uh, maybe a critical elements in your life that have now started to make sense and the people around you are not able to deal with the person that you've become. And once you become successful, they, you know, you no longer participate in mainstream stuff, which makes you uh, somewhat very difficult to convince or to invite to parties and have conversations that um, people that are not working towards something, you know, really re enjoy, um, you know, uh, participating in, you know what I mean? And let's say you've made it, you know, you've made it here, you've created a business that's profitable and enjoyable, you've just started experiencing, um, you know, tremendous success, you know, all the critical elements in your business are aligning and you're getting to the next level and you're no longer following the fluff or you know just doing the one quick thing but rather you're now actually doing the real things that um real money is made of or what real entrepreneurs um you know work on and suddenly you start noticing that your friends start dropping one by one and they just start lurking uh you know on your social media and they no longer start supporting you and i usually call them chameleons you know you know how a chameleon goes into an environment and when it you know you know sits on a leaf or on a branch or on a tree it camouflages itself and it just um you know resembles the color around where it, the surroundings that's that it is in okay and that's what a lot of the people will be doing. They'll start ghosting you and they just don't show up to things that mean uh, a lot to you. And you should actually start accepting that because you are now really exposing one fundamental thing about them. You're now exposing the fact that you have chosen to uh, live a life that maybe they know they can, but they're too uh, lazy to participate in. All right. So there's no denying that success is going to come, you know, if you do the right thing and if you're uh, creating for and relating to your audience, you have identified your market, you're clarifying your message and you've determined the media that you're going to reach out your audience to and success will definitely come. And it's going to come in different shapes and sizes and it's going to come with luggage. 
All right. You know, you could be. Uh, and also, I want to say this with utmost love and respect because success is not just financial. Okay. You could be financially successful, romantically successful, health successful, uh, you know, your, your, your relationships are successful, you know, your social um, endeavors are successful. And not a lot of people can achieve that. And obviously, all of that comes with envy. All right. And we are hardwired for connection as human beings so when we start uh being thrown away by our tribe or the people that we grew up around it's a very uncomfortable place to be and that's why a lot of people start um you know limiting their success only simply because they don't want to stand out that much or become a tall poppy so they sabotage their finances they sabotage their romance and maybe sabotage their health just so that they're not the skinniest person in their family or the healthiest person um you know at, at, at their club or something like that and if you found and, you know, if, if you found always um, that, you know, you, 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 your, your personality or yourself, you become prosperous or you become advanced, advan you know, you've come into some sort of success, um, you know, in some shape or form, then you must also be ready to know that some people are going to feel a little bit envious towards you. And you may want to, um, you know, be wary of that because, hey, they may want to take what you have or bring you back to normal, which I'm saying that with inverted commas, um, and, and, and they will beat you there with experience because you know what? That's the level of which they've always, always been uh, participating in. But you can understand where they're coming from because maybe you were there with them now you've just elevated yourself, you know? But however, what is really funny or what is confusing is, you know, when people you've always um, known or always been there for suddenly start becoming jealous when you begin to actually win and shine a little bit more. And when you think about it, the logical conclusion will be, you know, they should be happy for me now that I've actually achieved the success that I was working towards. But this is not always the case. And at times it's a really harsh reality of life, you know, and, and, and you might be asking yourself, why, why? And then half of the time, a lot of people will start rejecting, um, you know, that newfound success. And that's the reason why a lot of people that win lotteries would um, throw away a lot of that money because obviously they don't want that un unwarranted attention that comes with them falling into money, all right? So we're going to look at why do people actually resent your success instead of, um, you know, celebrating it with you? Now, you see, a thing about success is that it creates a huge and a noticeable gap you know, there's a, really, there's a really big disparity between somebody who's making maybe $1,000 a month to somebody who's making $10,000 a month. Because if you're making $1,000 a month, anything above $500 starts to become expensive. But if you're making $10,000, anything above $500 is like, eh, you know what, I can afford that. Now, take it a, a, a notch further. If somebody's earning $100,000, that person can actually afford anything above $10,000. So half of the time when people are judging others, and, and there is going to be a lot of judgment, you know, no doubt about that. When people are judging others, they're judging them from the lens of which they view their world. They're judging them from their wallet. Have you ever noticed when you see somebody driving a Range Rover um a Rolls Royce and maybe they're parked at McDonald's, you you start concluding and saying, look at that rich guy, but he doesn't care about his health. Look at that rich guy, but he doesn't care about, um, you know, what he wears or things like that. Or you find somebody who's in a um, Range Rover yelling at somebody on the phone and you say, oh, I don't want that kind of money because look at how stressed that guy is. You know, at the end of the day, people are always viewing you from their own experience of the world. And like I said, there's going to be a huge difference between the money that you start earning yourself than the money that you actually, um, your friends and people that are on minimum wage 
uh, earning or people that are in some sort of formal employment. And I'm not sitting here and bashing that having a job is actually worse because some people that are in, you know, very executive positions are earning millions. You know what I mean? Good, good for them. But I know and you know the people that I'm talking about. Our everyday person who's just sitting there and hoping that they would win the lottery and uh, they're not doing anything in order to move themselves forward okay so there's going to be a huge difference obviously if, if you maybe in the relationship you've been around your single friends and you start dating and maybe eventually you get married you know your homeboys keep calling you oh come let's go have a beer come let's go shoot um you know let's go play pool come let's go kick the foodie and you're like ah oh, sorry guys i'm just gonna hang out with the missus and stuff like that automatically they start resenting the missus because they think it's because of her that you're not hanging out with them anymore you know what I mean? It, it happened to me. And, and and when I moved to Australia, I mean, obviously, I was hanging out with just about everyone, you know, just trying to find my footing in the ground. And I was just, you know, the friends that I had, if you would look at where they are right now and where I am, it's like chalk and cheese. But those were the people I used to hang out with and go to parties with. You know why? Because they were not doing anything. They had no family around them. And, you know, I tried to connect with one of them recently and it was just so painful because they're still doing what they were doing 10 years ago and literally they haven't grown up and they and that to me is painful because that's a wasted 10 years you know what I mean it's like buying a television you know when you know so maybe right now in your business you can actually make up to two million dollars of which um if we are working together within the online prosperity blueprint we can actually literally get you from 200k to 2 million within two years so just check that out and see if you're eligible for that so let's say you're um you you're eligible to be earning two million dollars and and maybe you know your yearly income is around maybe 70 or uh eighty thousand dollars okay and you go in and buy a television set that costs you about two thousand dollars i want to ask you this question how much is that tv gonna cost you in the future if you're not gonna work towards earning two million dollars because that tv is no longer just two uh two thousand dollars that tv is costing you two million dollars so look at the things that are around you and and start comparing yourself. Is it the friends that you have, the people that are around you, um, you know, the, 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 the habits that you have started to accumulate? Because also your habits and your old self is going to resent the new self because the old self didn't have to wake up early, didn't have to do podcasts like this. They just, you know, woke up in their sweatpants and then just lazed around the whole day eating chips um on the couch and watching netflix no disrespect to people that do that and if if you're happy with that good for you all right so like i was saying there's gonna be a huge difference with the old person that you were your uh, your friends and you know the people that were used to who you were and the people that you're becoming and there's also a major difference between somebody who say maybe has lost control of their health and somebody who's a supermodel and so on have you ever noticed that people just simply hate people just because of the way they look or the way they talk um or the way they just present themselves you know that's why we're trying to look at why do people actually resent success and, and if we can get to the bottom of this then you won't have the angst of trying to bring them along your journey you just know and accept them the way they are because let me tell you something if somebody is hell bent to be who they want to be you cannot change them you know, and that gap that I'm talking about, it often brings out a lot of awkward feelings, especially if you have grown up with these people and especially if these people are family, even for the people that you actually hope can be wishing you well. So if you really look at it, success in any endeavor, uh, you know, is by nature really hard to reach. And when you achieve it, um, you know, it automatically places you in uh, in that higher position. And no matter how humble or how friendly you might be, people just start thinking, wait a minute, now we have to uh, look at this person in a totally different way or approach him in a way that, you know, that we never used to 
um, in the past. You know what I mean? Because it's difficult for them. And don't get me wrong. A lot of people, nobody wants to stay in the position they are. But it's just because it's difficult. Some people just um, resort to not wanting to be successful. So if it were easy, then everybody would have achieved it. And since it might not be something that, you know, other people either in your family or in your industry want but can't get to it actually makes sense that they actually start feeling a bit distant from you as they feel like um you are now starting to be above them and you they now have to um you know sort of re-engage or relearn how to act um around you so some people don't even want to change the way they look at you they would rather um you know take themselves out of the scenario and that actually starts to breed envy because they're like wait a minute i was hanging out with this guy but look at him he's driving a ram or he's driving a rolls royce why am i still uh not able to afford my first car or why can i uh, afford anything that i want uh you know in in, in life etc so if you really, really look at it, um, envy in and of itself is 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 a desire of something, um, you know, that someone else has that you do not have, and that's a natural thing that human beings have. Even kids always want everything. Now, I've got a two-year-old little girl, and whatever her sister is playing with, she always wants that, you know. And when she gets it, she realizes nah i didn't want it in the first place but we always want what other people have and not everybody um i mean obviously i'm not saying that everybody's gonna feel envious about you especially if if they actually do not value uh what you want or what you have um for instance i you know you can't envy somebody who's got a phd because you know you, you you're that's not who you are and that's not what you want all right, because that's not a milestone that um, you would have wanted uh, to have in the first place. So, but some people just can't help themselves. But on the other hand, you know, even people who don't need or want what you have, they just start feeling jealous over your success. And not necessarily because they, you have succeeded, but because you've become successful. You know, you see, <laughs> jealousy comes when, you know, they don't want to keep up um with what you already have you know a friend may actually begin to feel jealous just because you know you they no longer get to hang out with you and you're hanging out with people that they would want to be hanging out with or who are you know like in a new league or a higher league um that is making them feel a little bit less um you know in in, in stature or in society or you might have family that feels jealous that you left the small town for a big city or you left the country to go overseas. Um, all of those things are happening, um, you know, within us. And you need to learn how to control that in order for you to keep fueling your uh, success. Otherwise, these people will definitely br bring you down with what's called herd mentality or um, it's called... Um, you know, when 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 uh, generational fear that maybe somebody that they know tried to venture into entrepreneurship and all of a sudden they failed. So they're afraid that that might happen to you. But you've got different information you've been reading, you've been learning, you've been studying and you're confident in your own um, work. You're confident in your own value, because at the end of the day, have you ever noticed that a bird is not afraid that the branch or the twig that it's standing on is going to break simply because it's fully confident of its wings? All right. So some people will be like, oh, stop, don't do that. That twig might break, but you know you can fly. All right. So like I said, a, a lot of people don't want, you know, the new found happiness that might come along with that, um, you know, um, uh, success. And they might actually start feeling a bit jealousy around you. So you need to also be looking at the people that you hang around because you're an average of the five people that you hang around. If somebody starts feeling jealous about what you're doing or the success that you're achieving, that person needs to leave your circle because that person is now 
uh, going to bring the rest of the other five people down. So it is your duty. It is your obligation to make sure that you uphold your end of the bargain by being successful. And if you start having these unhealthy or toxic friends that may start feeling jealous, um, you know, that you, 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 you now look more fit than them and, and you're visiting the gym more often while they're spending uh, a lot more time at the bar and at McDonald's, you know what to do. You might want to, um, you know, uh, let go of these people. So whether envy or jealous, they all happen to, um, these things happen because of your success and they can't be helped um, because that's a natural human feeling and in fact some people deny having these feelings um and 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 that's where they become toxic because when people deny feeling a bit jealous or envious chances are they're actually lying to you and you can't be around people that are lying or two-faced uh, around you because jealousy and envy are as natural as laughter and anger and if you can't tell them apart then you are also um, living a lie. So, you know, the, the issues only arise when they start getting out of control and these people start talking behind your back or uh, passing on gossip that might not be true, which might actually uh, jeopardize your reputation. And I think it was Ray Goforth that mentioned that there are two types of people who will tell you that it cannot make a difference um, in this world. He says you, you can't make a difference in this world. Um, it's those people that are afraid to try and those people that are afraid you will succeed. So a lot of people have seen you work. They know you're going to be a success, um, but not everyone is going to be happy about your success. So there are obviously toxic levels of envy and jealousy that are going to be around and they can be very destructive and, um, you know, they might distract you from actually moving forward. So you should actually watch out for those because jealousy or envy is actually um, popularly referred to as, um, I think it's called the green eyed monster because it actually feels like you are being... Um, you know, you, you are like another being emerging from the inside and it takes a lot of self-control and the proper mindset to actually conquer a green monster. And it takes a greater level of personal development to actually um, get rid of this uh, envy and jealousy into inspiration and actual drive. And you also want to be careful that you are not being jealousy or envy and other people that are actually seemingly succeeding. So there's a famous saying that goes, there are two ways um, to build the tallest building in town. So you build a taller building or you tear down all the other buildings around it. And I really suggest that you build a taller building um, with others, um, you know, because other people would actually allow jealousy to start you know, seething within them without doing anything about it. And that becomes toxic. And all those, un, um, you know, uncontrolled uh, emotions and feelings start actually becoming toxic and they come out as um, illnesses or some sort of, um, you know, disease within yourself. So, you know, a lot of people might actually start downplaying your success. They push your buttons, they spread rumors about you, they're conniving, they're betraying, and they start sabotaging you. And as well as attempt to punish you by withdrawing from you or ghosting from you. And the result of all of these things can actually be messy. So how do you actually then start dealing with it? How do you actually deal with somebody that you love or somebody you're close to you who be suddenly becomes jealous of you? Because experience, experiencing, um, you know, jealousy and envy is, is quite common if you start becoming prosperous or having a business that's profitable and enjoyable. And especially for those who are always, you know, looking to improve themselves, um, you know, like coaches and consultants like yourself. And it's actually crucial that you actually know how to deal with these jealous people, especially if they're close friends or families or colleagues, um, you know, and people that you've maybe grown up with. And I've, I have had my own fair share of having people that are envious or jealous about me because 
you know, coming from Africa, man, I've I've done the unthinkable. You know, I'm, I'm married to um, um, a woman of, of Caucasian descent. I've got caramel babies. It just seems like everything that I touch or everything that I'm doing um, is an untouchable to a lot of people. But you know what I do every single day? I just empathize with them. You know, I accept that it's a natural response that most people can't help but feel disappointed or jealous especially people that I went to school with. And I understand and I empathize with them because we can't all be the same. We can't all have, um, you know, the same results in life. Otherwise, it will be boring. So that's why I don't take it personal. You know, if they, um, you know, if they might have said or done something out of jealousy, you know, it's important to realize that it wasn't about you. They are just speaking from their own knowledge they don't know what i know they don't know what i've read they don't know who i know they don't know who i become it is all just about their own insecurities and one thing that normally happens is don't apologize for being a success don't never feel bad about succeeding it's actually a good thing to succeed because you're creating a reference point and especially one of my things in life is to become and represent an idea that you can be do and have a happier existence no matter where you're coming from so it is actually a good thing that i am being a success because a lot of african kids or you know other kids don't have role models i want to be that for them so my being a success, well, maybe if somebody that I is close to me is hating it, but there's some kid out there who is using me as a yardstick to say, you know what, when I grow up, I want to be just like that guy. So the success is a... Uh, Actually, the best thing that you can do for yourself and the world. And if somebody's lagging behind, it's not your fault that they're behind. It's their choice. And they're the ones that need to put in the work to level up. Okay, they're the ones that need to transmute their jealousy and envy and they need to strive to actually succeed because you've proven to them that it is actually possible. So they should not be jealous. They should thank you. And one other thing is don't attack. You see, in most uh, cases, you know, the, the people that become envious or uh, jealous, they can't do much to you if you don't dwell on them. All right, you just take away their most important power which is your attention so they would try to trigger you but you're better off just ignoring them you're above them and and we all know that people that speak behind you they're behind you for a reason all right the best you can do is encourage them you know you can become a bigger person by just sincerely encouraging them you know because you're gonna need people that will um then speak well about you if you at least uh send the elevator down for them now this is particularly important if the people who are jealous um of you are under maybe your leadership or um, people that are trying to you know elevate to where you are and you just want to make friends not a lot of enemies so the next time you see someone acting out of envy or jealousy, don't be quick to think that they hate you. And it's just one of those awkward things that comes um, with achieving success. And it's one of those things that make success interesting. It is actually the spice of life. So you don't need to sacrifice your income. You don't need to sacrifice your relationships. You don't need to sacrifice your finances just so you can fit into the mold that other people have created for you. And let me tell you something. When you do let go of that success, they're the first people to laugh at you. They're the first people that are going to um, be thinking, oh my God, look at him. He, who did he think he was? So don't give people that opportunity to then, um, um, you know, um, ha you know, have the last laugh. Okay, I really want you to be successful. Like I, I, I viscerally believe that each and every one of us that's creating a online business should have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. And I really want that you're waking up doing what you love and not worried about what everybody else is doing. Because hey, I tell you something. They are there for a reason, okay? All right, so if you are on your way to build a business that's profitable or enjoyable, I want you to claim 30 minutes um, of a business breakthrough call with me and discover how you can actually start exploding your sales within the next uh, 90 days. So for 
this coming month, I want to also give you a marketing roadmap for your business because maybe the people that you're around are pulling you down and they're not actually helping you grow. Why don't you uh, connect with like-minded people like myself that are fighting for your success and that are going to be celebrating uh, with you the day you actually make it. In the meantime, um, find the link that came with this podcast and subscribe to this podcast so that you can um, get more of this, um, you know, groundbreaking information and how you can actually start enjoying the success that you're going to be receiving. Bye for now. Thank you for joining us today. If you have any questions, let's continue the conversation in the Live Long Digital community. Become a Live Long Digital community member today. This community is for ambitious entrepreneurs and small business owners with the drive to take control of the future of their businesses and achieve huge success without stress and overwhelm. As you heard, Prosper can help you by teaching you marketing strategies that work. So look no further than the Live Long Digital community of entrepreneurs and highly successful business owners. Join our community today. Find us on www.community.livelongdigital.com.au. Network with other driven entrepreneurs and find the expert guidance you need to take your business to the next level. www.community.livelongdigital.com.au.